Old Tiki Markets is the largest flower markets in Saigon. But what others don't know is that it also has one of the biggest and most affordable food markets in this city. Look at my racks, feel like Serena went hit from the back. Swing, pull like Jim, waves on swim, and a rock tins with the tag. Butterfly doors on the Tesla, I just spent shit on gas. 150 bucks, I be at the strippy club. Whiskey. Sick. In today's video, we're gonna be going through the Hotiki markets with my boy, Big Time Bentley. Yo. <laughs> he recently just arrived to Vietnam. You were in Mexico before this, right? I was in Mexico. He has created content in Mexico, and now he's making content in Vietnam. So go right. check him out. Thank but you, bro. The first meal we're about to have is some pork skewers, which looks they look, pretty dank, bro. They looks look really like good. they put a lot of effort in yeah, these. Yeah, looks really good. As I said, these markets here are very affordable. We're probably gonna have at least like between five to seven different dishes in this little bit of, oh, yeah. of markets. It's only the start. We just got our first meal, guys. As usual here in Vietnam, they just give you plants for days, bro. This tastes like it's really just leaves that they got off of the tree right here. Like, I don't think they put many effort into this, right? Like, <laughs> I think we could just find these ourselves, but nevertheless, you get leaves. Rating on the whole thing, 6.2. 6.2 day grade. All right, let's go. Let's right, to the next one. across this fried chicken place and I'm like, God damn, look at all this fried chicken. It's like Chick-fil-A on steroids, bro. I said, we gotta try this place. 45,000 for this little dish. Looks legit as fuck. I mean, look at that. Dude. Mm. 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 Sweet and sour, bro. It's bomb, dude. Wow. What are you thinking, Dank Ray? This is an eight. Eight? eight. Solid this eight? This is an eight, bro. Wow. You give it a try and see what you think. All right, here we go. Korean fried chicken. Chris went with an eight. I've got high expectations, like Charles Dickens. I got great expectations. Real chicken, bro. It's crunchy. We got a lot of meat. Got a lot of meat. Only forty-five thousand dong. A little bit of salad Two and dogs. good, good six pieces of fried chicken. Quality though, quality. It's only the beginning, guys. Let's move on to the next one. So one of the things that has always caught my eye in these markets is this beef with like some cheddar cheese on top. We're on our way to try some right now and it's just, the meat here is so tender guys. It always gets me, always gets me. Oh, look how beautiful this looks, dude. We couldn't sit in the other place because there was no space so we just took everything take away and now we're gonna get oh, some yeah, lobster yeah. bro because this place oh my god we're gonna try this cheese with beef i mean just look at the way it looks guys it looks incredible and as always it brings some cucumbers some leaves and this awesome sauce so let's give it a try big time bentley he said 8.1 right yeah it was a solid 8.1 like 8 all right mm -hmm. guys did you see how that slipped out of my mouth? How tender it was, bro? Oh my God. Yeah, it was really good stuff. I'm sweating like a fat kid at a buffet right now, by the way. I'm gonna say 8.5 on this one, guys. Ooh, 8.5. .5. That's a strong score. That's very strong. 70,000 dong for this. Um, it brings sauce, cheese on the lobster, and um, we're gonna give it a try with Big Time Bentley. You fork it, bro. Whoa. The cheese, the way the cheese stretches, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? It's good. It's good? <laughs> I, I think the best way to go, though, is just... Mm. Did you eat the shell? I ate the shell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm right back. Mm. Wow. Yo, this is nice. What are you thinking, though? It's quality amount of protein. If you can see, a lot of cheese and a lot of protein in there and it's fresh it's very fresh I'll give it like an like an like an 8.2 i don't know how i feel about the cheese on it i think i think i'd go without the cheese on it if i'm being honest 
I prefer just the meat, but the meat's really good. So, can't go wrong. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm pretty full. I'm pretty full too. <laughs> we still got a few things to try though. What, what other are we gonna try, dude? What, so, else, what so do you feel we got, like? We got the big snails from the river. Oh, right, right. We're gonna try those. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got yeah, the yeah. whole bit loan, which okay. is the, basically like an egg that's not fully developed yet, so it's got a little fetus uh, in there or something. Yeah, the embryo egg. The I've, embryo I've, I've egg. had those before, guys. We can do the little shrimp rice cakes. I can take it or leave it. Up to you if you wanna do those. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna yeah. do it. Yeah, and let's we go. Got the avocado ice cream for dessert. Oh. <laughs> got really really packed as you can see so much people it's a Saturday night so um, a lot of the things here about the markets is that they close pretty early but this market is a food market which you rarely see here in Saigon but it's popping right now so many people so much stuff going on everybody eating drinking just having a good time we are like the only foreigners in here am I right bro yeah you're absolutely right we are like, the only foreigners here Here, there's this barbecue area where you actually have the duck embryo that you can try. I've had it in the past in Cambodia, in Vietnam, and the Philippines, but I have never seen it in this way where it's already cracked, there's no shell on it, maybe, and uh, it's barbecued, and it's gonna be really tasty. Hot Dit Lon has arrived, and as you guys can see, very nice seasoned, a lot of nice crispy garlic on top, but the embryo, this is the embryo right here, yo. Bro, I'm gonna go for the whole thing at once. Let's go at it. Oh. Mm. Look, I've had this for quite a while now, and the more you have it, the more you grow love for it. This one has to be the best because it's barbecued. And not only because it's barbecued, but there is that little bit of a, a bone that you have to swallow when it comes with these embryo eggs. And because it's been really well cooked, it's very tender. In other countries, you have to like really bite it and like, <laughs> you feel like you're eating through bone. This one, it's not that hard. And I'm really gauging the taste. It's not bad. Like your taste pretty decent. It's just gotta be like a 5.8 because I'm not, <coughs> I, 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 it's never gonna feel like appetizing to eat that. It's never gonna be like, oh yeah, let me go get some undeveloped egg embryo. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's the kind of thing you only do for the videos. You don't yeah. really have this for lunch or breakfast. Okay, here we have, our prawn with egg. It looks really nice, very well presented, I have to say. But now we're gonna taste it. Ooh, it's so hot though. Mm -hmm. wow. So nice, bro. I love the fish sauce, too. the fish sauce is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so full, I don't think I could eat anymore. Oh, let's go finish with the dessert. Because the dessert is something special. And they found the Kimbo, it's right here. So, it basically, it's very strange, but it's avocado ice cream, or just icy avocado with some peanuts, some coconut, and a little bit special stuff in there. But it's so refreshing, so nice. Is this the first time you try it? This is the first time I've tried avocado ice cream with Chris Travels, that's for sure. Let's get some Kimbo. Hey, hey, hey. Avocado ice cream and coconut ice cream, guys. I can't believe it costs this much, but he's never had the avocado ice cream before. So let's see what he thinks. I just had a bite of it yeah. and it was absurdly good. Yeah? Uh, really, really good. Surprisingly good, huh? Like the best. Was it sweet or was it salty? Because that's a good question people ask. It was sweet. Mm. It was sweet. Mm. Let's see. I've had a lot of Kimbo in my life. But this Kimbo, is so the best one I have ever had. Gin. It beats all of them, 100%. The texture and the amount of flavor with avocado. Oh, next level. That's it, the whole Tiki market. As you can see, it's a place to just pig out, dude. Tons of food, tons of different types of drinks, desserts, goddamn. If you want to have a good time and you want to get good value for money, this is the place. But let me know what you guys think down below. As you guys know, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed, just comment or like. That's all I'm asking for. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Christian Rodriguez. Bye.